Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this cool hologram effect using CapCut Video Editor. So the first step was to create a video where I pretend to be scrolling and then the next step is to actually create the screen that I'm scrolling and for that I'm going to use any random Wikipedia page and software Loom to capture a specific area of the screen. So let's say I'm going to click on custom size, custom size here, screen two, and now I will specify the area that I wish to, to see. So this is going to be my screen. And now what I'm going to do is Another very important point is you have to make sure that you synchronize your movement in this video with the scrolling in this video. So I will play this video as I scroll and based on my movements, I will scroll this page so that it matches and it's synchronized. So, okay. Let me start recording with Loom. Right, so now Loom is recording. I'm going to play my video here. And I will try to synchronize the movement. So this is me scrolling, scrolling again, and scrolling again. All right. That's all. Now I stop the Loom recording. It takes me to the website where I can download my video. And, and that's it. Now let's jump into the CapCut. Okay, so in CapCut we have two videos. So this is the introduction video where I pretend to be scrolling. I'm going to disable audio for now. And let's take a look. So this is me pretending to be scrolling a screen. And the second video is the screen that I captured using Loom. Um, so this is going to be the screen that I'm scrolling. Uh, drag and drop that right above introduction video. And what I need to do now is I need to adjust this video. Okay, so this is where I start scrolling take a look okay so what you need to do is resize this screen position it just around where you're going to be scrolling so it should ideally be right in front of your hand then the next big job is to actually synchronize the movement of the screen and your finger. Wow, that was actually quick. So I managed to synchronize just like that. But if you don't like the way the screen moves when you scroll, you can actually rotate the screen. So it's going to look as if you're rotating up so that's easily fixable, as long as you don't really see what's within the screen. Because right now the text would be upside down, but, but we're here for the effect, not the actual content of that little screen. Okay, so once that is done, select this uh, second video, navigate to the section on the right hand side to video, basic. And in here, uh, find the option called blend. So select blend and on the mode, click on the drop down and select brighten and now reduce the opacity. So this is going to give the hologram effect to your screen that you're pretending to be scrolling. So let's reduce the opacity to something around 50%. And then the next thing I'll, I like to do is 
uh, here on position and size uh, at uniform scale I like to deselect this and adjust the size of the screen to the size that I want so something like this okay let's take a look now yeah that looks a little more like a holographic screen gonna move it up a bit and what you can do also is go to effects go to video effects um, there's plenty of effects that you can go and play around with uh, let's say I'm gonna use this spark effect flame frame effect drag and drop that over your screen video and now you can see that the screen looks like a floating uh, screen with the uh, flame effects uh, on the right hand side you can actually adjust the colors so let's make that something bluish like that you can adjust the filter a little strength of the filter and also the size so let's increase that a little we want to have the screen bigger and let's try and play this now okay that looks quite all right I would probably move this a little closer so when I when I pretend to scroll it looks as if I'm actually touching the screen but that's not bad and then again if if you click on this video navigate to video you can actually adjust the size manually here increase the width or height of the video and that's it that's how you apply hologram effect to your videos thanks for watching this tutorial if you liked it then please don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more content like this